Join these pilgrims as they walk the path to St. James and make the pilgrimage of the Camino. Listen to their nightly reflections on the journey. See the sights they encounter along the way. Experience the Camino with them as they make their way along the path each day, one step at a time. On the Camino and afterwards, you learn to go where the path takes you. We have made it, yay! It has been a long day through rain and cold and a little bit of sun. What were your thoughts when you first came in sight of the cathedral? All I know is that my jaw dropped and I just stood there, probably like a very obvious tourist, going, wow. I did wonder what the pilgrims' expressions were from hundreds or you know, thousand years ago when they first came in sight of this massive, amazing building that makes you feel so tiny. Walking into the cathedral was cool, but I was still kind of in traveling mode and walking mode. And just when we finally went down into the tomb of St. James and knelt before it, that was really the moment where I was like, this is finished, this trip is finished, this pilgrimage is finished, and it was a really awesome moment. For as far as we traveled, St. James traveled all the way from the Holy Land. How obedient he was to Christ's words go forth and spread my word to all the nations. It's a statue of St. James, but after being on the pilgrimage and reflecting on him, when you embrace the statue, you think of St. James. It's more than a statue. It's the journey, and it's kind of that moment where you can bring all those thoughts together. The main entrance yeah. to the basilica, where traditionally the pilgrims place their hand on the column, and you can see the hand prints. There were the five fingerprints and how worn into the column it was. And you can just think about how many hands have touched that exact same place for so many different reasons. How many touches does it take to wear away an inch and a half of marble? How many hundreds of thousands of people have made that journey and have gotten up there and, you know, hugged the statue? You know, there, there was not any tarnish on it. <laughs> you know, it was nice and shiny. I'm thinking it's getting polished every day by the hands and the embraces of all those pilgrims. To know that you have this in you and you've done this journey that so many hundreds of thousands of other people have done, but it's not <coughs> the same journey for any person. You know, maybe the same steps, but it's not, it doesn't have the same effect on you. There's this wonderful sense of being part of this community of people who have done this, of having come closer to God and deeper in your own faith for doing it. I feel like we've all been together for longer than a handful of days. We've spent whole days together for a week. And doing something very difficult, seeing them each other in this very difficult situation where you're really being pushed to your limits. I think that shows a lot about people's character. I know that when I go back home and I tell people all about this and how wonderful the experience was and how great it was to do it, they're not going to understand it because I clearly didn't understand this at the beginning. But that's okay. I know that there are the eight of us that have done this together and we certainly understand it. And there are all the other groups of Camino pilgrims all over the world that have done it, and they all understand it. So maybe I just have to convince more people to try it. Thank you all for sharing this journey. It has really been a tremendous source of grace and blessing for me, and I hope for all of us. From Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain, this is Father Larry Rice and the Busted Halo Pilgrims saying uh, adios and buon camino. Adios. 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 adios.